again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 6th of March, 2018. Just read an interesting article on Fox News Live. I'll attach the link, but I'll give you most of the highlights. It was written by Brooke Singman. Gaudi Goodlate demand appointment of special counsel citing FISA abuses. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Bob Goodlate and Representative Ter Gowdy on Tuesday demanded the appointment of a special counsel to investigate, quote unquote, conflicts of interest and decisions made and not made by current and former Justice Department officials in 2016 and 2017, noting that the public interest requires the action. Gowdy, Republican South Carolina, and Goodlake, Republican Virginia, penned a letter Tuesday to Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. Why did Rod Rosenstein? He's one of the deep state, isn't he? Huh? And with Jeffy? It's a waste of paper. Matters have arisen both recently and otherwise which necessitate the appointment of a special counsel. We do not make this observation and attend request lightly, Gowdy and Goodlett wrote. They point this specifically toward the use of the infamous anti-Trump USA used in the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court to obtain a warrant to spy on former Trump campaign advisor Carter Page. You know how many out of FISA judges were appointed by Barack Hussein Obama? Ten out of the eleven. Huh? <laughs> they also want to investigate Judge Rudolph Contreras. Rudolph Contreras was the judge that signed the request for surveillance. He too was appointed by Barack Hussein Obama, first to the bench and then to the FISA court. Quote, there is evidence of bias trending toward animus among those charged with investigating serious cases, they wrote. There is evidence political opposition research was used in court filings. There is evidence this political opposition research was neither vetted before it was used nor fully revealed to the relevant tribunal. Well, the relevant tribunal, they're all Obama appointees. I mean, come on. <laughs> Asked why a special counsel was needed? Gotti told Fox News, Congress doesn't have the tools to investigate this, we leak like gossip girls. They added, questions have arisen with the FISA process and these questions and concerns threaten to impinge both public and congressional confidence in significant counterintelligence program processes and those charged with overseeing and implementing these counterintelligence processes. Goodlatte told Fox News he thought the FISA process was abused. Gowdy and Goodlett wrote that because the decisions of both former and current Department of Justice and FBI officials are at issue, they do not believe the DOG is capable of investigating the fact patterns in a fashion likely to garner public confidence. Yeah, you can say that again. I will say it again. Gowdy and Goodlett wrote that because the decisions of both former and current Department of justice and FBI officials are at issue, they do not believe that the Department of Justice is capable of investigating the fact patterns in a fashion likely to garner public confidence. Both Gotti and Goodlate have announced in recent months they would not seek re-election this year. Last week, Sessions announced that Justice Department Inspector General Michael Horowitz would investigate allegations of government surveillance abuse in light of memos released on Capitol Hill by the House Intelligence Committee, which suggested at least on the Republican side that the dossier compiled by ex-British intelligence officer Christopher Steele was made and used to obtain a FISA warrant to surveil Page. President Trump, though, blasted Sessions' decision, saying he appointed an Obama guy to investigate potentially massive FISA abuse. Horowitz also investigating former FBI Director Andrew McCabe and whether he wanted to avoid taking action on a new Clinton emails found on disgraced Democratic New York Representative Anthony Weiner's laptop, report said. 
According to records, McCabe knew about the emails belonging to Hillary Clinton in September 2016, but did not choose to brief former FBI Director James Comey until October 26, 2016, prompting the reopening of the Clinton email investigation just one week before the presidential election. While we have confidence in the Inspector General for the Department of Justice, the DOJ IG does not have the authority to investigate other governmental ent entities or former employees of the Department, the Bureau, or other agencies. Gowdy and Goodlate wrote, Gowdy also serves as Chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Folks, you know, you want to really make sure that this sort of happens, but here's the problem. Well, let's assume it happens. We know they're all guilty. We know Loretta Lynch is guilty of sedition. She called for blood in the streets. We know that Eric H. Holder Jr. is guilty. He was held in contempt of Congress, among other issues that he should have been charged for the crimes he committed. Nothing happens to them. You know, and Donald Trump's upset with Sessions. Why doesn't he get rid of him? Goodlatte, who penned a letter to Sessions in July 217 and September 217 calling for the appointment of a second special counsel, received only one response from the Justice Department, suggesting that Sessions had directed senior federal prosecutors to investigate matters involving the Clinton Foundation and the sale of Uranium One, leaving the door open to consider whether the matters merit the appointment of a special counsel. Really? House Judiciary Committee Ranking Member Gerald Nader, Democrat New York, slammed Goodlett and Gowdy, saying they are simply off base. Chairman Goodlett and Chairman Gowdy are simply off base, just as they were last year when they called for a new special counsel to investigate a slew of Hillary Clinton's conspiracy theories. Nader said in a statement in response to the letter, where there is no crime, there is no criminal investigation for a second special counsel to manage. Good late and Gowdy letter comes just days after more than a dozen other House Republicans penned a similar note requesting the appointment of an independent counsel to investigate the same issues. The 13 lawmakers signed onto the letter that stated, quote, evidence has come to light that raises serious concerns about decisions and activities by leadership at the highest level of the Department of Justice and Federal Bureau of Investigation regarding how and why the Clinton probe ended and how and why the Trump-Russian probe began. Again, what does it matter what they find? None of these elitists ever get held accountable. And why Trump still has Jeff Sessions as his AG makes less than zero sense. But what do I know? Huh? I read you the entire article, but I will attach the link for your further consideration and review. Let's uh, see if the show gets on the road, huh? <laughs> Thanks for listening.